it's the dude, the man, the myth, the legend. And we're here to play Europa Barbarum Edus. Phenomenal mod for Medieval 2, which allows you to play as the classical culture. Rome, Carthage. Um, super historically accurate, but also a very slow mod. Uh, meaning that it, it, it this is going to be a huge let's play because you cannot just steamroll as you typically can do in um, most Total War games. Uh, but having said that, that's the kind of mods I prefer. Uh, and let's get into it. Single player? Yes, sir. Um, grand campaign? Yes, sir. And, I mean, should there even be a question? We're doing Rome. Now, having said that, let's see, medium. They actually recommend hard, hard. So we will change that up. No computer moves, yep. Uh, now, one of the differences in this mod is they really took a lot of time to flesh out all these cultures. Um, so this is not a Rome, which many mods are specific mod. This is really, we can play, we can do another play. If you guys like this, let's play of, you know, uh, quite frankly, any of these cultures really, really a lot of opportunities, especially if you're not a big fan of Rome. If you pick up this mod, you can really play a culture in it and it's actually uh, maybe even more so built for other cultures, barbarian, you know, Egypt, you know, lots of cultures. So we're doing Rome though. We're going to conquer the world and we're going to do it the proper way. Let's go. Now, as we play, oh, let's say we got a little intro. 100 years ago. Oh, okay. I know what they're, they're referencing. Yep. So I, I'm not sure what tribe. I'm, I'm not sure if they'll, they'll show us here. Um, never again. Okay. So I'm not sure what tribe or if they even know what tribe it was. But basically, Rome got, got sacked. Because in that time period, the Roman army was actually more of a Greek-style army. Um, not the, the army that we, we've come to know and love. Uh, it was more the very immobile two guys clash no maneuvering whoever gets more tired wins the battle pretty much uh, a hopolite uh, army um we can go ahead and just probably skip this yeah uh and anyways to rome and uh, the reason they conquered the world is they learned from that they said ah what did they do right let's steal from them what did they do wrong uh and they learned from it, adapted, and the rest is history, as they say. Now, this first um, episode will be going over a lot of stuff, uh, which, oh, shoot, I just clicked off of something. Shoot, I don't know what that was. Okay, well, having said that, here we go, right into it. Um, one of the great features of this mod, being historically accurate, is like the government system. So it fully implements a government system the way the Republic was set up. So your characters will have to go through, uh, it's called the course of, of honor. Um, I'm not really sure how you pronounce that in, in, in Latin. I'm not going to try that. I, I, I'll do my best, but <laughs> a lot of this is going to be uh, cringy me trying to pronounce Latin stuff. But uh, every four years, the, the mod it goes on a four-year cycle. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, four turns per year. And what's really cool is like, you have to bring your guys back uh, to Rome. They have to win elections and not everybody can lead an army. You get big negatives if you're not, you don't have what they call Imperium. So that's really cool, allows us to really role play. And you might not have the best general, just like in uh, the way Rome was. They, they, did, they didn't always have the best general for the job they had who got elected. And uh, it many times led to disaster. So now what I hear what they're saying is basically we can move. Uh, we can. So when a, one of our characters is ready to actually become like a console, we can move. They use it as a, the trait hair. Uh, it's like a little alchemy. Um, 
uh, we can move it from character to character, which is really cool. So let's move on here. Let's see. Another one. Yeah, nothing for us that we care about. Alliances that are far, far away don't impact us. The new guys. Okay, it looks like some barbarians are moving around. Uh, so, for example, here we got uh, Lucius, Cornelius, uh, Scipio. Scipio. I'm not really sure how they. Everyone pronounces it different, but um, he's eligible for for Quaestor. So he's not Quaestor now. To be eligible for these offices uh, back in the day. Uh, you actually had to have 10 years of, I think it's 10 years. It's around there. I, it, it did through the decades, it, it would fluctuate, but you did have to have military experience to even move up um, the, the, the political ranks in Rome. Um, so the first step was the Quaestor. And uh, so he's eligible for that. So he must have military service. I'm not sure if they implement that in them. We'll, we'll find out. Praetorship. Okay. So they're just letting us know all these characters. And right now expands. This one has joined the entourage of followers. Okay, that's cool. Uh, he's a potential successor. So that's a guy that's eligible for uh, becoming the consul, which is basically the president of their time. The highest honor. Okay, so Okay, so he has whoever that was has his Imperium, which means you can lead armies. Uh, okay. All right, so we got through all that. So let's take a look at one of our characters. I see we got one here. Uh, I believe this would be, I think it would be Marcus Attilus Regulus. I believe, right? Well, <clears throat> yeah, so accurate, they're keeping the names written in latin um let's look at some of the we got all those messages um eligible for praetorship okay so so he has to get elected to that so he's eligible so on turn four we actually have to bring him back oh uh, look at this imperium relinquish so he can't leave troops and if i do have him leave troops you get big negatives and and generals in this mod do play a big role uh your troops You'll lose a bunch of morale, all kinds of stuff, and it would be much harder. So it, 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 we wouldn't be using him to, to lead an army unless it was an emergency. But it would actually probably be better even without him because he's going to bring a bunch of negative uh, traits to our army. Um, let's look. So he's a noble. He was. A, he's a talented leader, so he's he'll be a great... Um, general, however, is an ex um, tribune. He's a pleb. So there's basically uh, the plebeians and the patricians. Patricians were the elite, and the plebeians were citizens of Rome, but they were kind of like the poor uh, of of the. They didn't have that. Their their the families of Rome went back to the beginning. And the patricians were those founding families, basically. Okay, so that's really cool. So we're gonna just show you. We're we're gonna move him out. We don't we don't actually want him leading this army. Now I can't remember in medieval two, so you can't build a fort, like because I would like to house him in fort. But basically, we're gonna want to keep our troops, like the Hastati and the Principe. For example, we we'll want to move them out of the city, but like levees, um, those are kind of like the town watch guys, and these are, let's see, yeah, so these are, oh, yeah, that's what I want to show you guys. Now, moving forward in this mod, I just kind of want to set how we're going to do the let's play. Um, this first episode, we're going to be going through all this, but coming episodes, I'm going to cut all this like going through and what I'm picking. Unless you guys want to see all that stuff, um, we're going to try to cut that out. Take a sip of the old coffee. Um, we're going to try to cut that out and and um, make it a little bit more streamlined uh, as far as making it more entertaining for you guys. Because uh, a lot of this stuff is tedious and boring, but I'll give you a summary of what I did and what I didn't do on each turn. 
uh, and, and move forward instead of going over each individual decision. Now, that's up to you guys. You'll have to leave a comment. Uh, you can watch this video, see if you liked it or not, and then watch the second video. Obviously, that's going to I'm going to actually edit that so that we kind of just move forward in time. Uh, same thing with the battles. So you'll have to leave a comment what you guys actually want to see before I go in. Uh, we, we go in what direction, how you guys want me to record these uh, these Let's Plays. But um, what's really cool is during these times, okay, it, this just shows you how cool this mod is. Um, you have what they call Italian allies. These were not citizens of Rome, okay? These were, when Rome conquered an area, and we're in 272 BC, this is after uh, Rome had basically defeated the Samnites, which were like their biggest rival on the mainland of, of Italy. Uh, they, uh, they would conquer these areas, and let me see, because I believe this, yes. So right here, we're pacifying this area, okay? They're, they're not even allies. We're just, we conquered them. Listen, now we got to, now I'm not really sure how long that takes, but uh, uh, once they're pacified, then when they, they can become allies and we can actually build this and we will be able to um, recruit troops. Now, one of the cool things in this game is as you expand, you're only going to be able to get uh, the local troops of that area, right? Um, for example, let's look at, like down here. So recruitment. Now we can get Principes and Astati. Now we can only get one and one of those, which is another good mechanic of, of medieval two. But um, this is the main troop of this area. So if we expand it out, we might only be able to get, you know, like German troops or something like that. We're not gonna, we're not going to be able to once we kind of get past this Italian area, just like go out here, conquer, and then build like a huge. Um, stack of a study we're only gonna be able to, to get these guys over here and they're gonna be a limited amount and that reflects of of the time that between 25 and 50 percent of the actual roman army a consular army was made of troops like this okay salmonite troops italian allies um they weren't they weren't the principes they weren't the the uh the study you know, those classical Roman troops that we come to think of, they were a mixture. And about anywhere from 25 to 50% of that were troops like this. They weren't like, you know, principes and studies. So we're going to be following that um, the way we build our armies. Uh, about 25 to 50% of our army is going to be made of Italian troops, uh, allies. And as we go out, you know, Gauls and Germans and the, the Spaniards. So... We're gonna try to keep it role playing as much as possible, um, which this game is gonna really help me out where I'm not gonna have to just ignore stuff like the game actually kind of forces you to do it anyways. So that's really cool, another great feature. Um, but over time, uh, one of the cool features is we can, you know, the, these cities did eventually become citizens of Rome. Actual full, full right, right now these guys are just allies. But eventually, like, Capua became part of, you know, the Roman Empire, all that. And once you have citizens, you can do that and upgrade these buildings to become, you know, full-on uh, Rome. Roman citizens. Same thing with here. They can eventually become allies. Really cool feature of the game. Um, but having said all that, I think you guys got enough of me blabbing on about um, some of the features. So let's get into the gameplay. Uh, so let's look at what we need to do. The first thing we need to do, we got a, the north is going to be filled with armies. So we need to actually finish up the south, I believe. I think that is a prudent thing to do. Now, let's take a look at our army. The way I'm going to build my armies out, um, I've actually written this down. Uh, basically, I'm going to have five principes, five hastati, um, three allied troops, three uh, triari, so we're going to have that triple axis, and um, probably two uh, skirmishers. Now, right here in the beginning, we're probably not going to have that because we're going to have to build, and I do want to attack these guys. But 
we can start here. Now let's make sure this guy can command troops. Ex, ex Tribune. Oh, so he's a Praetor. Now, Praetor is right before um, Consul. Um, oh, Roman hair. See, so he's eligible to get to be, become Consul. So when it that fourth turn comes, we are going to go to Rome. I believe he's in here, isn't he? This would be our main, our main, our main dude here. Yeah. So he's a pro console that comes after console. Okay. Cool. So he's he's our leader right now. Oh yeah. So here's what we were talking about. So I have to move that to who I, whoever is eligible. I got to move that so that he does get elected to that next position. He becomes the new new console. So that's a really cool feature. Um, okay. So he can lead troops. If he's Praetor, he should be able to lead troops. Make sure he has Imperium. Yeah, so he has Imperium. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we're done with that. So basically what we need is... Um, let's see, so how many Astadi do we got? Let's move, let's move our Astadi into the army. Let's see where we stand here. Um, he's not going to make it. Um, all right, we'll move him Principe, we'll move him. Yep, we'll move the Principe well, turn, we can get... Now, another thing, like I said, it's four years... Or, I mean, four years, I keep... It. Four turns per year, so it becomes a time where the, uh, the, the seasons change, and winter, you get huge negatives for trying to, to do battle in winter, so the defenders have a much better shot at destroying you if you're trying to attack. So that's another really cool feature in the game. And we need some Chiari, okay. So let's see what we actually need to build out for this this initial army. Um, okay, we move those. So we got three allied troops already. Uh, one, two, three. So we need two Astadi. We have those. How many principles do we need? We need, um, we have one Triari, so we need another Triari. Um, oh, and, and two horse, uh, two cab units uh, to do that. Um, so one, we only have, oh, okay, we have two principes. How many do we have down here? One. Okay, so we need to build principes out there, correct? Yeah, so let's build We'll start building for our army. We'll build one Principe. See, now I'm only able to build one. We only have the troops for one. So eventually you're going to run out of even be able to build Hastati or um, until those numbers fill out. And that was a really cool feature of Medieval 2, which limited how... I don't know why they didn't keep that feature, but limited how you could build stacks of, like, knights and just dominate everybody. You had to, like, get shittier troops. Just, you had to do it. Uh, you really didn't have an option, so we need a principe there, and then we're gonna need we have one here and one there, so that would be one, two, recruitment, three, one, two, three. We need to build one here, four. We need five, right? I, Yeah, don't show me that. Two, three, four. Yeah, so we're gonna have to build one more. Oh, okay. So there we there we got five. So we'll get this army all stacked up. Um, get her super OP. P perfect. Now up here, let's look at this up here. We're going to want to obviously. I think up here for now, since we're not going to be expanding. Oh, see, here we go. We're going to have more of a, a mixed army, a lot more Italian allies. And both are not happy here. So we'll get the main troops out. Where the way I'm going to play it, basically, in the towns, you can either, either have, like, the local troops, uh, but you can't have, you know... Uh, Italian armies in there. 
Um, they're going to kind of be in their own little camp out here, which I think uh, should work pretty well. So here for now, just for now, I think I don't need to really... Hmm. I think we'll be all right with the army we have here. But I think up here, we'll, the standing army will be more of a a um, local troop type thing where we build our first consular army down here because uh, we wanted to do the expansion. Okay, perfect. So things are working out good. And I think what we can do here is we have a big enough army. Yeah, tiny. Why don't we go ahead and... Oh, well, maybe I should just go ahead and take care of the rest of our money. Yeah, so we have 5,000. Let's see what we can build. Um... <clears throat> Large state um, capital. What do you? You have a quarry here. You have quarries up there too. Large quarry. Okay. So I think these two will be more of our economic bases. Uh, let's see what what can we build in capital. Um, what does that do? Population growth two percent. That would be good. Public order negative ten though. I don't think I want to start out with negative ten. Uh, not until I get grain. Food imports, 15%. I know food does play pretty big. I don't, what does that mean? Economic plus or expense, oh. So if you have expenses, it looks like you either get the plus 100 or the negative 100. If I'm reading that correctly, but we do get grain, which is important, especially for growth. Um, garrisons, no. What's this? Oh, okay, so large-scale industry, plus 300, negative 5%, trade goods. What does this road do? Improve road and trade, trade bonuses plus one. Oh, okay, so roads are going to be important for sure. And that's historically accurate, the way Rome was able to funnel troops is because they actually built roads. Keep their supplies up. So that makes good sense. Um, food imports. So this is dull grain. Okay. Trying to decide what we should build. Um, start off with. Oh, here we go. So we can 4,000. Four seasons. Okay. So we can actually bring these guys into the fold right, right now. Hmm. I don't think that's, hmm. I'm not sure if I because we only have 5,000. Um, kind of feeling like we should get the roads going first. If I could be totally wrong on that. Metal mines. Roads and trade, because I have a feeling we would want this trade going. I think I think that's what we're going to do. So how much is this one? That's 4,800. Ooh, boy. I think we should get the roads going. Yeah. Let's get the roads. And then we have enough for one more down here. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's do the battle. I think that's... Yeah, perfect. So, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maximus, we are going to do this. Let's do a battle. Let's do the battle. Okay. So now this first episode, obviously, like I said, I'm going to show everything, but uh, like for right now, um, setting up my, my troops. Yeah. Like we're going to be cutting that out and then you'll see the result at the end. But right now you'll see how I feel it. Uh, how I like to set my troops up. Um, yep. We got our study there. Now, we don't have a full complement, obviously. So let's get our principes over here. Let's actually move you back a little bit. I really don't... Th that was one thing I remember about medieval. They do this, like, weird, like... Like, it starts you off right at this red line. You can't, it's hard to move everything around, but... Okay, so we got our study. Principes. And we don't have that full army, so here's our allies. 
which will supplement our troops. No, these are spearmen, so let's move them. We're going to supplement these guys up here. There we go. And then, where are you? There's Archiari. We'll just move you to the back, and we'll supplement the back line. Are these guys, I don't see, I don't even know if these guys are better. Ah! You're in my thing. I can't see the start battle thing. Oh, that that's really annoying. Um, total defense, I think it says 18. So what are these guys? Okay, so, yeah. These guys would be more in the back line. So, I'm assuming if you're watching this, you know uh, what Hastadis are, what Principes are. But in general, just to make it really quick while I set these guys up, our skirmishers are, will be out in the front. These are skirmishers too? I think we'll keep you in the back line. As a backup. Okay. Uh, then what do we got here? Are these? Who are these? Oh, that's that's my general. Okay. And then we have two cav. Skirmisher cav. Okay. So skirmisher cav. Why are you so far away? Two guys in the front. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. We'll just get you all mixed up here in group two. Create you as group one. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'll group one. Add you to group one. Okay. Uh, so what I was saying was... Estadi were... Uh, basically, men that weren't um, didn't have a lot of combat experience and uh, were generally poor. Uh, between cool skirmishers. Uh, and the principes were guys with experience. Um, usually, could have better equipment. And then you had the Triar, which were the most experienced, and they stood in the back. Rarely fought, unless things went really bad. But yeah, that's just a general overall of the, the Roman uh, re early Republic um, troops. Now, this is called like a triple axis. Basically, you had the skirmishers in front, Stadi, Principe, Triari. But uh, the Romans really did... This was like... They're like conventional, but they really did... Let's go ahead and start the battle. They really did fight in many different formations. Now, I want to make sure I don't... So, let's, let's get our studies with... Uh, good. All right, so there's the enemy. Those rebels. Okay, let's move our troops. Now, another thing I'll be cutting out, guys, uh, which you'll have to let me know... Basically, if you... Oh, I have that guy in the back, don't I? Hmm. Well, let's just put you up like this. Um, which is only the way I'm going to be able to play this game is... I like the roleplay. I like... Now, it does have effect on the game, too. If you just run, you will, your guys will get very tired and be very ineffective. So, there is a purpose behind the madness. But, I love doing this the way... They would walk the battle until so they met up. And then when shit hits the fan, they use all their energy to kill the other guys. They would not just, like, all run up here and all just swarm. No. That was a definite way to get yourself killed and lose the battle. So I'm going to be trying to do that. But what I'll do is it takes time, as you'll see, to actually walk over here. Um, and I'll cut that out. Now, if you guys want to see it like I do... To do like a cool like, yeah, yeah, buddy. There's a Hurstadi just chilling. Oh, look at it, so cool. And that looks like are those are our allies. No, those are Principes. So there's our Principes. They have better equipment. And at those times, like I said, these were citizens of Rome that were really trying to protect their their status trying to move up in society get land so these these are people who had something to fight for another reason rome was so successful 
Um, they weren't hiring mercenary armies. These people, like, had general interest in coming out to fight. And as you can see, they're all got different shit on. This wasn't a professional army at, at, as, like, in later periods of Rome. This was guys equipped and equipping their own armor. Uh, the state did not provide. It provided a little bit, but mainly, like I said, like, the principates had more money. So they had better equipment, better shields, stuff like that. Okay. So let's start harassing. Let's do this. Let's start harassing the enemy. We'll put you guys in loose formation. You'll attack this guy. You'll attack this guy. And, attack this guy. and then we shall... Wait, where is my... Oh, yeah. I forgot to put these guys into... Yeah. Move over here quickly. Get the cap a little quicker. And then you can just move up. And having told you how important generals are, I didn't move my general up. Gives a huge bonus to morale. And you'll see that when we fight. I actually say, inspired by having the general nearby. And that actually plays a pretty, uh, pretty big role, actually. So we'll move you guys up. Oh, it's just so cool. I love just moving the army. This, this massive amount of men. Look at this. And what, oh, I love this. You'll see there's another feature in this mod, which, you know, I never really thought about before. But it's true. When these guys go to throw their helium, they'll actually step forward and throw it instead of just standing there and just, beep, just like tossing and hoping it goes far enough. Like, it's really neat feature they added in this. I, these guys that made this mod went all out. Okay, so we're actually starting to move these troops. Okay, perfect. Wow, they're really... They're really coming after us, aren't they? All right, perfect. And we can go and start messing with that skirmisher calf. Right now we're doing our skirmishing like we should. And let's see, our front line... That's fire at will. Our back line, we're going to hold them off from fire at will. Oop, we need to get you up here. Okay. And we got some spearmen. Looks like they might be trying to come in our cab. We'll just move you back. Draw you guys in. Wow. The skirmishers are... Um, what the hell are they doing? Yeah, you guys got a little too far. You just keep in the spearmen. Now let's see if we can catch our guys throwing their peel. Let's see. All right, yeah, yeah, watch. Watch it. Yeah, look at that. How cool. Right? That is freaking sick. Oh, they're really coming after my um my calf here. Okay. Um They definitely don't have enough troops, so why don't we take these spearmen? Yeah, those are our allied troops. Why don't we go ahead and take you to go ahead and have you stop messing with. Okay, so our initial lines, looks like they're starting to use the enemy. Chase. Uh, they're attacking the spearmen. I think it's mainly skirmishers, actually. It's going to be a really easy battle, obviously. All right, so our main our main dudes are starting to fight, and we actually got some. Yeah, I believe these guys are salmonites, and they did say they were rebels, so that makes sense. Okay, so our skirmishers are done. You know, we still got more skirmishers. Perfect, and those are spearmen. So why don't we go ahead and start chasing down? We can start actually chasing down the skirmishers. We're going to use our, our general for that. And you can come over here. It's weird that the skirmishers came all the way up here. It was a little, that was a little odd. Oh, the skirmishers are here. They're done, so. And then we can go ahead and outflank you. Let's do that. And now. In bigger battles, uh, which is really cool, what I do is I cycle my troops. 
So you can see they're fresh now, right? Fresh. But when they get tired, what I use, I, I use this back line, just like the Romans would typically do. Uh, and I just replace my troops. It actually works really well, guys. It works really well. Um, I, I find that I get way less casualties when I do that. And I can win battles. Because I'm my, my, when you have fresh troops, they get bonuses. As they get fatigued, they get real big negatives on them. So it actually works really well. Okay, so they just... They straight up left. And just keep shooting. Wow, these skirmishers are really going to fight them. Oh shoot. They, they got kind of caught here. Just run out. These skirmishers are really Spearmen are not giving up. Hard, hard, right? The general's getting experience. Got to be careful. Don't want the general to die. So you obviously don't want the general charging into spearmen. That would be bad. Okay, so it looks like fighting to the death. Awesome. That's awesome. All right, let's bring our... Let's see. I don't really want to... I want a cab just to... Now, fatigue. So, what I would do... Oh, uh, now they're retreating. But what I would have done is go ahead and move my Principes to replace the Hastati that are fatigued. Let the Hastati rest. Then cycle them in and out. And it actually works really well. I don't know if the mod actually intended that, but I found not only is it fun to play that way, historically how, like, battles would have played out, um... Oh, wait. Whoa! What? what? What the hell? Where'd you come from? Now, troops will, by the way, um, break off. Especially if they're <clears throat> not... Um, so missiles, they're still firing. Still firing. These guys should be gone already. Let's go ahead and give them a charge. Boom! All right, so now you guys can stop firing. Um, so yeah, what I was saying was, uh, oh, there we go, end of battle, perfect. Uh, yeah, so troops will. Let's go and end the battle. Two hundred fourteen loss, Ugh, not the greatest. Uh, a little bit more than I would like. And for those that want to see all the battle stats, which when I watch Let's Plays, I do. So I'll get the screen. You can pause it, check it out. Let's see, did anyone gain any experience, though? No, no one gained any experience. Um, yeah, so troops will retreat and come back uh, if they're not completely broken. So you really have to run them down. So another aspect, especially in big battles, oh, I'm winning. And you kind of slack off, start doing screenshots, which I like to do. <laughs> And all of a sudden, here comes troops that you thought you beat, Dang, and they turn the title down. It's happened. Cool. So we we got rid of the rebels, which is perfect, though. Let me see. Let's look at some of the characters. Kota. Okay. So now, this is a good example of appearing English. You never had it. As you can see, this guy. Oh, wow. That they really did do that, didn't they? So he's part of the plebes, but he is not green. He's yet to see a real battle. So we're gonna have to incorporate him into the army. Um, wow, I can't believe they actually did this. This is so cool. At least I think it's cool. So he, we're gonna, he has to get, so God, so that's basically seven. I think it was, I saw another guy. Yeah, 7.5, full. So now he's eligible 
because we saw that in the beginning, for the equatorship. Because he has that 7.5 years or whatever, or until you get that trait, the full trait. So until he gets battle, we're, we're not going to be able to even have him get into the, the system. So that's really cool. Uh, now, I'm not sure if age has it in this game, but typically you had to be 30 years old to even do the Quaestor, and you had to have a certain age to become Praetor, Consul, and so on. Now, those all get... They change that around as each generation, but in general, um, yeah, you had to ha you, you couldn't be 16 and, and, and be Consul, and that didn't happen to the Imperial times, but yes, that's how they kind of set this up. Make sure they have young, dumb idiots running their armies. Okay. So we're chilling there. We're not going to be attacking you. Okay. So we've done all we can. Let's go ahead and end the season, not the turn. Really neat, man. I, I just love, love the aspects because part, part of doing a... a like a let's play of a game like this, it, it can get boring, especially mid game. When you really just are making stacks of death armies, because there's no mechanics to, to limit you. This game is going to limit what I can do, which is really neat. And on top of it, I get to role play. So it makes it more entertaining for me. And I hope more entertaining for you guys. Again, phenomenal mod, get it, play it. I highly recommend it. All right, game information. Please note that this information is very important. And during every update, you should be sure to check it has not changed. Ah, scroll lock key, I know about that. Oh, okay, so basically it tells you, it feels like it's here in history. Europa Barbarum means Europe, uh, is it Europe? Barbarians, Europe, Europe. I think it just means Europe barbarians, I believe. So I'll just scroll down. I'm not going to read this entire thing. And if you guys want to just read through that, pause, you know, your, your video, you guys can do that. Yeah. I will actually probably be reading this myself as I edit the video. Cool. Because I love Roman. Well, not Roman. I love classical history. I, I I literally watch or listen to podcasts about the history of Rome uh, before I go to bed. So, yeah, I, I love this stuff. Um, we got our Prince of Pays. <clears throat> so this is the end of a turn report. Okay. Got it. Now, we should be able to flush out this army now. Um, okay, so yeah, into this army. Oh. We got a, we got a little sneakster over here. Bring you down. Let's actually, yeah, let's bring you down. Cut off this road from this guy. Uh, so many, we got one, two, three, four. So this should be our fifth one. Oh, shoot. Well, yeah, I think we built too many. Okay. Oh, I know. Oh, okay. So. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking good here. Um, We want to get rid of these. Bye bye, Leves. Bringing uh, starting. And we have already have our three. Um... Okay, so we got two. Oops, we got two. Um, skirmishers, perfect. Now, let's see. You can just go back. We need more over there. Anyone over here? Here. And then our we need our trailer. Maybe I should only have one. Because one of the things I would like to do is we gotta get this guy military experience. So 
We're actually going to move him in here. And I think what we'll do... I want to keep the allied troops. Yeah, we'll, we're only going to have one or two triar. Okay, that... Because we got our two cav. Yep, we got our two skirmishers. And then we have our full complement. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I like this. That's, that's All right, so this guy should actually probably go up this way. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so. Um, we have. Ooh, we didn't get that much cash. 24 20. Okay, so we're not going to probably build any more troops for the moment. Tells you to. Summer. So we're in summertime. Peak. Peak. Uh, campaigning season. Oh. Uh oh. God. Ooh, we might need uh, to get this army rolling. Oh, crap. Okay. So we'll get the Prince of Amy here. We're going to have to chill. Okay, so we might need to recruit a little bit more. So what we got here? We got one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So we don't need that much more for a console army, but I'm still thinking up here is going to be more of a defensive army. So we can kind of just use a lot more allied troops, which would make yeah, that would make sense. Uh, keep them there because it looks like they're going to actually. Well, I don't know if they are. They're on the border. I also want to beat them. So, let's see, you have allied troops. We're going to keep some allied troops down there. Looks like we will have to. Let's see, who, who can we recruit? Shoot, I didn't want to spend too much more money on. Oh, shoot, we're going to need to get a diplomat, too. Oh, man. Hmm. Magani. Okay, so this is the regional troops here. Or are these the regional troops? A tr oh, yeah, these would be the regional troops, the Etruscans. Now, the Etruscans were the ones that originally ruled Rome. Uh, and then they threw off the Etruscan kings, and then they eventually beat them, conquered them. So these would be, and like I said, they were hoplites. So these are based, or, or Greek style armies. And you can see that. Um, 18. 18. Oh, well, no, 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 no. I don't want to build you. I just want to look at your stats. Uh, so, so take eight missile attack, charge bonus, and this has missile attack. So are these more skirmishers? Put attack, attack, and swords. Okay. These seem interesting. How much are these? 17, 15. I think we're going to go on the cheaper. These guys are much more expensive, but they are way better. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll go recruit one of these bad boys. And over here, I can't even recruit. Yeah, like we're out of money already. Just recruiting one troop. Okay. All right. Uh, we are going to need a commander. Um, who can lead troops? Scipio. Oh, no. I already looked. He can't lead, right? Imperium relinquished. Okay. Regulus. Now, he's going after the election. Looks like if he gets the Praetor. Yeah, he but he can't for now. Um, so, you see the, the ex-tribunes. Like the tribunes would be actually be elected. That's... Uh, and they would kind of manage the armies while they weren't fighting. Um, and worst case scenarios, lead the army if they were like attacked. But that's how like armies were pretty much kept together at, at those points. And, and most of the time they were actually decommissioned. But playing this game, it's going to be hard to like decommission. Well, we can't do that. Um, that'd be a great mechanic. And you can just call them the back up. But we just have to kind of imagine. We'll have to imagine that they're being, you know, kind of relinquished. Uh, when there's no war going on. But we are going to need a diplomat. Do I have a diplomat? Um, I'm so used to original Total War 
Ro- oh, well, at least Rome Total War. Uh, I don't remember all the things here. You know what? I can actually do all this off camera, so we're not wasting too much time on that stuff. But I do want to see where we got a spy down here. Let's actually look down here and see what's going on. Hmm. Pretty big. Actually, I think that'll be our first target. Or should I? I don't remember what spies can do. Okay, it just shows. Can I assassinate? Okay, so I guess it just shows. Uh, let's go over here. Because that'll be our first target, Taurus. And there's a little army over there as well. <clears throat> so, going back to this, it looks like our console, our pro console, is really the only one that can lead troops. Okay, so we will do that. I think we're going to save the money. Now we need the troops to possibly go against the B. Boai. I think that's how you pronounce it. Boai. Do I dwell Freaking barbarians. Do I dwell Freaking barbarians. I always take him my shit. Um, moving back there. We got a full-fledged army down here, which is awesome. And we're going to be getting this man some experience. Mm -hmm. Get him all ready to go. Perfect. Uh, okay. I think that's all we really we can do right now. Yeah. So let's end the turn. Let's see what they do. So it looks like in the south, I blocked that guy at least from moving up the road. And I think we'll attack him next. Clear out that rebel army down there. And and finish up our our colon. Or, or we're going to colonize the rest of Italy. Make, make Italy great again. Okay, so he moved. He realized, yeah, I don't want any part of that. Um, let's actually use a spy. Where'd he go? Did he go back down here? Where'd he go? Okay, so I think what we'll do... Shoot. We're going to be getting into... Turn three. We're gonna be getting this is autumn. And he's not electable, so he can maintain the siege if need be. Yeah, because we're gonna we're gonna be going in the winter. I don't wanna be doing fighting in winter. You can siege, but you don't definitely do not want to be attacking. Okay, so they've kind of held their ground here. They, they haven't moved, which is a good thing. And we'll hmm. Okay. Keep my eye on you, bud. Yeah. Uh, the question is, do you, I want to, do I want to start that, that siege? Um. So he can make it all back, all the way back to Rome. Okay, gotcha. Wow, this is gonna be hard when you move out. Now I know that if they miss an election, it's not like you lose everything. Um. But if they want to move up, they you definitely gonna have to pull your troops out. Or I mean, you know, your troops, your 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 generals out to get elected to go to that next that next level. Your governor's out if you want them to eventually become commanders. You're, you're going to have to do that, which is really neat. I love that. I just love it. Have I mentioned, guys, yet that I like this this mod? <laughs> if I mentioned that, I don't know if I have yet. But, uh, yeah, I do. Okay, here. There's Leves. Okay, so. Now. Chameleon Skirmishers. Better or worse? 13. And these guys. Unreliable. What about the Leves? We got our Leves, right? Now I left, I left these guys as more... More 
since we're in the south, more of um, allied troops versus the Leves, which I believe in this time period were more um, Romanized troops or citizens. I think they were. I'm not a hundred. Light infantry in Rome. Are they Leves or Spear? They do not. Have helmet, body armor. Yep. Are the youngest and poorest comments in the army. Okay. From Latinium and immediate vicinity. Latin levels may be recruited from many regions where a Latin colony is found. Okay. So, yeah, I believe these were actually Roman citizens. I believe that. Like, let's double check that. Like, what are. Japan Lear. History that was regarded as. Da, 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 da. I don't really say where these guys can't wait. Hmm. Doesn't doesn't really say. So I'm guessing they're all this one in the same. That these are not actual like, oh, these guys were the Salmonites. I'm sure there are a unit, but Anywho, there there are skirmishers, and uh, oh, yeah, I just kept these guys in this particular army. I guess we can mix that up. But yeah, levees were like the 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 poorest of the poor, uh, trying to get their their start any way they could uh, in Roman society. Okay, so we got. Okay, I think we should go. I think this is what we're gonna do, guys. I think we are gonna start the siege he'll maintain the siege we'll do the election and then he'll come back we're gonna have to build stuff here um let's say let's do that we'll build two ladders and one siege tower one season well, we're actually going to have it for two seasons, so, yeah. That makes sense. And it'll be ready to go for when our commander comes back, as long as they don't sally forth. Which they, I'm assuming they won't. I mean, they don't uh, what do they have. Wait, can I get him in there? No, I can't. Yeah, pretty, pretty tiny. So, let me see. You can... Ooh, I hope he can make it back. Well, I guess we'll find out. Because I do need... He does need to move up. Okay, cool. Alright, well, let's... um, Yeah, let's end it. Let's see what happens here. See how this uh, election works. So now we're going into winter. And you definitely don't want to campaign in winter. Uh, you get big negatives. Like I said, if you're you're trying to attack an army, it's a bad idea because all your troops are up. Oh, and look at that! Militares, look Militares. at you, you son of a bitch! Come on now! Oh, shit! To Quaras Honorum, the course of honor. No, she's gonna attempt to clear up some confusion about the office system implemented for the Rome faction AV2 on text but it will pop up only one time so we're gonna have to read through this I'm gonna read through this offline um because there is a lot so I'm kind of scrolling through it so if you guys want to read it through it yourself you can do that this I have to make sure I understand so we don't screw anything up uh -huh. system yeah I'm have to read through elections yeah we'll have to read through it ooh, 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 ooh. let's just do that because we're coming near to the, the end of the episode um, wow so now this guy oh shoot. he well we can see how this works he is a quaestor and campaigning don't 
Was he in line? Uh, it looks like he wasn't really... He wasn't able to move up. So let's see what happens to him after. Yeah, he actually wasn't... Um, you know why? Because probably the age. I think they did implement the age. But we're going to read through that. I'm going to make sure I have a clear understanding on how that works. And we'll just set this up for the end of the episode, our next episode. Okay, so we need... Oh, no. No. I've already screwed up. Oh, shit. Oh, this is so bad. This is so freaking bad. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you bastard. Okay, so first go. We're gonna bring you to Rome. We're gonna bring you to Rome. Stand elections. And I'm curious what's gonna happen with him. So right now he is in the office of Praetor. But because he's not going to be in Rome, I wonder what's going to happen to him. Trebune. Now we have our junior officer just holding down the fort over here. Trebune. So that's very interesting to see what will happen. And this poor guy, I don't think he was eligible for an office, actually. Yeah, like, let's, let's double check that before we end the episode. I know it said it before. I know for a fact it said he was eligible for something. I don't know if that changes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So this guy is not eligible anyway, so it's okay if he doesn't hit the election, but um, this guy definitely did need to get there, but we can go, have, go ahead and have him in the next election. I'm curious what happens to him, so let's actually... Oh boy, he... Man, he's in a really precarious situation. And it looks like if he gets Praetor, though, we can have him lead the troops against... Um, The rebels so let's uh, uh, but we might be in a bad situation here because if he loses Imperium which he should then we have to get another general down there to, <laughs> to lead okay so let, let's see what let's see what happens I'm curious how this is going to work okay come on like Keeping my fingers crossed here. Uh, this is all going to work out correctly. Oh, no. I forgot to read that thing. Oh, no. Shoot. I was, I didn't want to end the turn so I could read that offline. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to like rewatch this video just to see everything it was talking about. Shoot. Oh, my God. They're attacking? No. No. Oh, boy. This has just gone terrible. Like, they're going to get slaughtered. Oh, dude. This is bad. Okay, so I made a huge mistake. What a way to start off a series showing you how to play Total Boy. Well, I think this is where we'll end it. We'll come back. Uh, you'll watch me get destroyed by this barbarian horde. Uh, and we'll see what happens with those elections. I am the dude. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, leave the comments on um, what you would like me to keep in and what you want me to cut out. And I will see you on the next part, which will be part two. Bye-bye.